I've had um, a few students tell me that they battle a little bit with game theory. So I thought I'd make this video on game theory to help you. Game theory is used by economists, military analysts, and so on to try and analyze decision making and in, in the presence of uncertainty to try and predict an outcome if it's possible. So we're going to apply it to oligopoly models that we've looked at. Um, in particular, we're going to look at a duopoly, two firms, and take the example that the textbook uses of two airlines. Um, and each of them can follow either a high output strategy of 64 or a low output strategy of 48, say a million um, airline seats per quarter. So we want to see how this works and if, if we can predict an outcome here. So remember that the thinking is it's based on Nash, the famous um, mathematician's concept of equilibrium. Some of you may have seen the movie about him. And that idea is that what is, what is the best profit maximizing or best response given what we believe the other party is going to do? So here, if American Airlines believes United's going to follow a high output strategy of 64, what is America's best response? We can look at it. So we're ignoring the bottom row there. So given that United produces 64, should American Airlines produce a high output of 64 or a low output of 48? Remember that the payoff to the top firm or individual is given in the upper right hand corner of each quadrant. The payoff to the other firm is given in the bottom left hand corner of each quadrant. So if American Airlines believes United is going to follow high output, should it produce a higher output and earn 4.1 or a low output and earn 3.8? So we can use so a green tick to demonstrate what American is likely to do. What's going to follow a high output and of 64 and earn 4.1, which is more than that. Likewise, if United Airlines produces a, a low output, follows a low output strategy, American Airlines' best response is once again to follow a high output and earn 5.1 as opposed to 4.6 under the lower output strategy. So we find that American Airlines has a dominant strategy to produce a high output. Regardless of what this airline does, we can find that its best profit maximizing response is the higher output. And you can write that down, that American Airlines has a dominant strategy of a high output. We can then find, the, the, find if there is a dominant strategy for United. It doesn't always have to be. But again, it's given what American Airlines is doing, what is its best profit maximizing response? If America's following the high output strategy, should United also produce a high output and earn 4.1 or follow a low output strategy and, and earn 3.8? Profit here payoff is greater, so it's going to follow high output in that scenario. Given that America is producing a low output, what is United's best profit maximizing response? To produce the high output, earn that, or low output and earn 4.6. Once again, this is higher, and we find it has a dominant strategy regardless of what America is doing. Its dominant strategy is to produce a high output. So both firms, therefore, follow their dominant strategy of a higher output, and we end up in a Nash equilibrium, where we've, we've got both firms producing this high output, and we're in this quadrant. Is this the best that they can do? Well, it is, given that there's uncertainty and they don't trust each other, but it actually isn't the greatest payoff that they could potentially, or the greatest joint profits that they could achieve. There is a quadrant down here where they could both increase their profits, both be earning 4.6 million as opposed to 4.1. So we call this a prisoner's dilemma. Why aren't they operating over here? They would have to collude um, and form a co or cooperate and both agree to restrict output to drive them to this quadrant here and to increase joint profits. And if they don't collude, if there's a situation of non-cooperation, then this would be the best that they could do 
um, and they would both therefore continue to produce a high output. So this is an, an example of game theory in action with duopolies.